fight it out. Man, that outfit. Yeah, that's pretty ridiculous. It's a thing. It's the only one. It's the only one I have all the colors for. So. Well, is it because it's the one, one of the DLC ones? Yeah, it is. Oh, they never, they never actually uh, kept that promise of uh, season pass holders getting all the uh, colors for the default costumes too. No, they did not do that. Old Capcom. I guess ultimately I'm not. And I feel like I wonder if I like Hallucinate that they said that in the first place. That's like, I remember it too. Okay. It's like we're gonna make restitutions or something. Except mm -hmm. you didn't. Once, once again, the Capcom way. Yep. We're gonna do this. They don't. We promised not to do this. And then they do it. Maybe they meant for the next season pass or something. I don't know. That would make sense, too, but... All they need to do is announce uh, Q as a uh, DLC character and be like, season pass purchase. Mm hmm. Yes, shut up and take my money, Capcom. <laughs> you know what I love giving people my money. <laughs> you annoying bastard. Final Unless they throw Final throw one way out of left field, they're like Skullomania. Now that would be insane. The, the internet would flip its shit. I would be like, yes, finally. <laughs> finally, some acknowledgement that EX exists. Even though they seem to kind of want to acknowledge that it exists now. With those, uh, fight portal or whatever bios they're doing. Yeah. It's nice that they're acknowledging it, but they need to act on it. Mm -hmm. Granted, I suppose it's a little bit different to just do some artwork and provide some biography stuff as opposed yeah. to actually putting it in a game. Yeah, I just feel like I wish they could they could take back them not wanting to do a, another big title release mm -hmm. um, because they really need one. Really yeah. badly, I kind of well, feel. Well, EX does. No, I don't mean EX. I mean Street Fighter V needs like a like a super or a title release or something. Oh. Okay, but yeah, I was saying, like I said, I, I feel like Street Fighter V needs, even though they said they wouldn't, and I'm glad that they are sticking to it so far, they kind of need a title update of they some would, kind. They need a fresh start. They would also have to, like, they couldn't make it a full price thing. No, absolutely not. Like they, they already, even, they already blew that one. <laughs> they they couldn't even do like they couldn't even do a forty dollar thing. It'd have to be thirty or less. Yeah. And then it probably have to drop the cost of the season pass too. For the, you know, for all the people who don't want to do the title. Yeah, and I guess that's the biggest problem right now is that they don't. I, I like the game, but I also acknowledge that I probably uh, did oh, not know, spend an adequate amount for the content that I got. Like I, it's or, or other way around. I did not get an ad amount, adequate amount of content for what I paid. Yeah, it's it's true, and as much as I like the game, it's true, and they need to fix that. Like st story mode was nice, but it wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. It was also a mess, a like complete out. mess. Yep, right, I mean it's a fun mess, again. but it's still a mess. It's like they looked at. Mortal Kombat su superficially okay. and didn't pay attention to how Mortal Kombat actually, you know, put their stuff together and just, just had all kinds of random stuff. Who are you fighting with? Who knows? What order are you fighting in? Who knows? Exactly. Like, you know, that's the one thing that I will give Mortal Kombat. Any other problems I have with it, 
the last two games that they put out had, had a great story mode. Mm -hmm. Like, in terms of understanding what was going to happen, why, and, and what you needed to do. It was all very straightforward and, and simple and, and made a lot of sense. Street Fighters was Looks all like over the freaking place. <laughs> My job here is done. You didn't do anything, Nikali. <laughs> You served as a kind of sort of a plot device to settle the uh, Satsui no Hado thing, I guess? Yep. Even though you had yeah, actually fucking I just feel like they had a do. different plan for him and they just they just didn't carry it out like they wanted to. Yeah, so it's like, what what does the Kali have to do with the Satsui no Hado again? Because I'm pretty sure it was nothing. That was not what I needed to go with. But like, you Still know, right move it's another one of those, like, but what do I know? I'm not the one in charge of the business. Because <laughs> I would have, I would have made a lot of different decisions. Yeah. Like I said, first of all, don't build up a character you're not going to do fuck all with. That's simple. Yeah. Don't don't build up Nikali and 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 make this big deal about him, just to have him just kind of go jobbed. away. Fight. Yeah, just just to get jobs. He got like super job. Mm -hmm. Actually, that kind of reminds me like of now we're now we're using wrestling terms. Where it, it, it reminds me very strongly of something that happened recently. Uh, they had these guys called the Ascension, right? Mm -hmm. And they're basically like, they're like uh, Legion of Doom light, <laughs> uh, or Road Warriors light, if you know who oh, they are. Oh, okay. Um, so they um, they come in, and and they had been in the developmental league, and they were like undefeated. They were like just just super popular there. Um, kind of ironically, but still. Um, so they get into the main roster, and they come out. And they immediately start talking crap about every other tag team that ever existed. Uh, they, they, they diss the Road Warriors. They diss uh, Demolition. They diss uh, pretty much any big-time big, big time tag team within the last 20 years. They probably talk shit about them at some point. Which is um, kind of weird. Like, why would well, you talk you shit know, about a tag team that's not even a thing anymore and hasn't been for, like, two decades? Well, well... We're getting to the, trust me, I'm getting them going somewhere with this. So, uh, they, 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 they went on like that for like weeks. And eventually, uh, one of the announcers, JBL, who happened to be a member of one of the tag teams they made fun of. Bagajay? Uh, huh? Bagajay? Or no, it's that, that. Yeah, yeah, it's by God Maggle. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, you know, JBL, you know, he's, he used to be known as Bradshaw, he's part of the APA. Um, so, you know, he's, he's getting, you know, pissed off at these guys, and eventually he actually calls out a bunch of people. So, like, um, then they, they get to, I think it was like the Royal Rumble that year, and so, uh, the Ascension are out there, and, you know, they, they're talking their crap, and out comes, uh, the, the, uh, the New Age Outlaws, and, um, in APA, and I forget who else, and they all just kind of ganged up on him and beat him up. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, what was the point of this? Is it that? Is it that you did? You know, you didn't get the reaction you were expecting, so you just you just gave up and just, just destroyed them. Just what was the point of like this entire escapade? You just you just crapped on it and, and gave it up. And pretty much since then, they've just kind of been like at the bottom rung somewhere. Um, Maybe just to make they're a the guy that, they're the guys that get, yeah, they, they're the guys that get trotted out uh, just so that they can look kind of menacing and get beat up. <laughs> Only kind. It's of. kind of a shame because they they could they could have been more than that. They could have been contenders, so to speak. They could have been contenders. Like I said, there's there was there's a, a seed of a good idea in there, and they just kind of they they put them in a position where they were going to fail, and then they <laughs> they failed. That's an amazing color scheme, by the way. It is. So good. Mm-hmm. 
You know, I'm never gonna turn down purple. Well, the black and the purple. Well, but especially the purple. It's the black for me. I'll take purple and gold, too. you stand in my way, I will kill you. Oh, Charlie. Wanna see my kung fu? I'll show you. Charlie can't control his blood rage. I still love how they just, like, split the difference on Charlie's name. Yeah. Well, they, they basically, they did the same thing that Sega did with Eggman. Yeah, it's true. Because remember that, the, even in the Japanese version, like, I am Dr. Robotnik. Yeah, you're Eggman. Yeah. And then they're just like, you know what? Eventually, Sega was just like, okay, we got to fix this weird continuity thing we, we've allowed to happen. Mm -hmm. Wasn't that something Kalinsky pointed out with Sonic? Is like that they, wasn't his fault. Yeah, I mean, I know it's not his fault. I think he pointed it out though. It's like they had they had the comics, they had two different cartoons, and then they had the game. Yeah, there was a lot of conflicting uh, continuity there. I mean, comic check, you can kind of expect that kind of thing, but I think personally I would have just been like, okay, there's the comics, and then there's, you know, there's the and game. it seems like they've been taking steps to, uh, to reconcile all of it lately, mm -hmm. so that's good. Because I'm pretty sure I've seen some Sonic uh, clips where they've, like, literally been running through the games again, so that, that's kind of neat. What they could do is just, uh, take the, uh, Halo approach, where the games are basically the, like, they over they override everything. Mm-hmm. Well, that's how it used to work. But now they, it seems like they're trying to exert a little more control over it, which, like I said, I'm all for. They should really want that to match up. Mm-hmm. I think the order was, uh, the games override the, uh, well, basically everything, whereas the novels and the comics kind of... Was Unless kind it's of Sonic weird. Boom. Nobody cares about Sonic Boom. Yeah. Everybody knows what Sonic Boom is. Yeah. Even though, you know, I actually like the cartoon, but, like, the game, I've not touched, don't have any intention to, so... I've seen I've seen more than enough of it already, mm -hmm. and I really really hope that they learn their lesson. Well, the new game appears to be good. Yeah, well, Mania looks good. I haven't seen anything about Project uh, Sonic 2016 or whatever it's called. Well, I mean, the new Sonic Boom game is better than the the first one. Oh, you mean the uh, the new DS one? Yeah. Okay, well, I've not played it, so I don't know. I remember playing trying to play the first one, and being like, this isn't quite what I want. Like, I didn't hate it, but, like, I didn't really find myself Round interested one. in it. I think I played it for about ten minutes, and I'm just like, no. <laughs> yeah. No, thank like, you, This is not game. right. That's that's the thing, like, sometimes, you know, when you get a game, and, and it's a long-running series, and you just, you start to play it, and it's like, this is not at all what I was expecting, and this is not, this is not good. This is not gonna work. That's the worst feeling, like, you know, getting, having a, get, being given a decent expectation to some degree, a reasonable expectation, as opposed to the ones that, that we sometimes get. Do you, um, like, and, I trusted you? Right, exactly. Like, something that actually has a reasonable expectation, you know, to be good, as opposed to something that, you know, because what happens these days is people will get all overhyped about stuff, and they will, like, assign expectations to things that don't exist mm. I'm talking about like this is this is what I actually you know wish, you know like I've, I've seen this entire series this is what I expect in this series and I didn't get that are we talking about no man's sky again <laughs> well that's uh, that's what I'm comparing to yes like it, it's a, it, it was always a, just an exploration simulator and that's all it ever was and you know the guy who uh, and this was his fault too. Uh, he basically did a mind. He talked about you know the stuff that he wanted to be in the game, and didn't have any filter. Mm -hmm. So by the time the game came out, everybody had this unrealistic expectation, even though there was no real indication that any of the stuff he talked about was actually mm -hmm. in the game. 
I was like, wondering uh, if the if the low kick would stop that. I was I was half expecting it, but at the same time I was not. Close one. Like oh God, what was I thought? I was thinking of something and I totally lost it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was, it was about the hype thing. That was kind of, that's kind of yeah. why I don't really bother getting excited about stuff anymore. It's like, I'd rather just wait till it happens. And right. Then, well, then I... like I said, I'm kind of I'm kind of in the middle somewhere. Like, I don't mind getting hyped about stuff, but I'm also really, really cautious about that. Mm -hmm. Because I know what advertising is. And, you know, they're going to talk about stuff that they want to be in the game. And unless I see evidence of it actually in the game, I'm not going to believe it's there. Mm-hmm. 